Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So in this one, I want to talk about the best ways to get experience in Epic 7. Uh, first off, the uh, blue Phantasma, the Mega Phantasma, has a self 3% XP boost. And the gold one, the Giga Phantasma, has a self 6% XP boost. Now, this is one carry hero, uh, plus uh, three fathers and uh, one friend. This gave 7,710 uh, 7, XP. And uh, the next one is, with no friend, gave the same amount. So just like get that out of your head if you think that uh, not bringing a friend helps in terms of experience. Always bring a friend. This was four fathers with uh, a friend. This gave more experience, 8,784 XP. Because you lose 50% of the experience uh, on the a hero that's max level uh, that you're bringing, like a carry. There's a 50% XP loss. This is two heroes that will carry uh, two fathers plus a friend. And of course, you're getting less experience in this. You're getting 6,636. Uh, that's on uh, Tyrrell Castle, World 1-5, but all these so far. The thing is, with a setup like this, you can push further. You could, can push higher. So in Adventures, the higher uh, the zone, the higher the stage, the more experience you're going to get, the more gold you're going to get. This is uh, two carries with no friend and two fathers. As we know, uh, no friends give the same amount of experience as with a friend. So now I move to World 6-4 Eco Valley with uh, two carry heroes and two fathers and a friend. And it gives 7,848 experience. So this is just a bit more than when I ran uh, one carry with a friend and three fathers. And I'm using two of my own heroes, two carries now because I'm further into the adventures and I can uh, farm um, some epic catalysts that you can't get before or some, some catalysts you can't get, uh, some, uh, some rare catalysts you cannot get before. Now on this one, I pushed it even further. I'm in world 9-S6 trying to get an epic catalyst. And uh, yeah, two carry heroes, two fathers and one friend. Angelica almost died, but uh, yeah, this uh, this gave even more experience, of course. It's 8,385 experience. And uh, this is uh, with one carry hero and one friend, three fathers, this gave even uh, even more experience because I only have one uh, one max level carry beside the friend and it gave uh, 9117 XP which was 16.17% uh, more experience so if you can manage now I'll, I'll talk about the best way like the like truly the best way to get experience for the the lowest amount of uh, um, energy. This is if you want to power level one hero. So in this case, it's a uh, it's a gold Giga Phantasma, and uh, yeah, it gets it has a self six percent XP boost. This costs twelve uh, energy. It's a uh, Light Spirit uh, Alter Ten. So any of the Spirit Alter Ten will give that experience with that setup. Well, not the exact same. I'll tell you why after. Depends on your uh, reputation uh, level. So you see, here's the experience. But yeah, 12 energy. Now there's the buffs. You get 10% battle XP with uh, the guild blessing uh, of knowledge. But then here in your memory chain, for myself, it's uh, battle XP plus 6%. Here's the 3% boost for the Mega Phantasma. 6% for Giga Phantasma. And now, this is the highest experience you can gain. This is only World 1-5, Turtle Castle. 
So I'm bringing a carry friend with uh, one uh, Phantasma, the one uh, that has 6% more experience. And as you can see, 9,110 experience. Now this is definitely uh, the highest amount of experience you can gain. The further you're gonna do it in adventure, it's only gonna cost you eight energy and uh, you can get more and more experience. You just have to find yourself some strong friends. And this is testing with two, uh, two fathers and one uh, friend carry, same stage. And this gave a total of 8,979 experience. So it is less because the Giga Phantasma uh, has a 6% uh, XP boost for itself versus now it's, uh, it's between a 6% uh, Phantasma and a 3% Phantasma XP boost. And this was my own uh, carry hero, uh, Kise with uh, friend Kise with uh, Giga Phantasma. And of course, there is less XP gain because the XP is split between both. Uh, and uh, there's a 50% XP loss on, your, uh, on a max level hero that you bring. So yeah, this gave that amount of experience. And uh, that's it. So basically, just uh, go in adventures. And uh, you definitely want to do something like this. But the thing is, it's better to have uh, four fathers because uh, they will receive less each. It's going to be split between four. And you won't have any loss. Let's say you're not paying too much attention. And now, like, 9,000 experience in this case it is a lot so you could just be like level 39 and then you're like you might have wasted like 5000 experience on a run because you weren't paying attention but if you are paying attention just make sure that you uh you swap your uh your heroes before the uh the, the, there's some xp loss so you could bring uh, four but uh, yeah really like having a giga phantasma and following all the xp into it using a friend is, is the best way so just try to have stronger friends and uh, do the highest stage you can in adventures. So that's, that's it for this one, guys. You can also do it in uh, Wyvern, you can do it in Golem, you can do it in Banshee 10. Uh, just have, uh, you could have it, you could do it with a team of three of your max level heroes, three carries and one father. Uh, like I said, it's gonna give you experience similar to this similar to this but it's going to be 12 energy versus uh versus eight it depends you want to farm some runes you want to farm some some gear if you can do it in hunts do it if you can't there's always uh the spirit altars for runes we always need runes can do it uh also in labyrinth uh pretty sure it should work in raid as well if you want to do it that way but i mean i wouldn't <laughs> recommend it doing it in raid and yeah, just try to, the best thing I can give you, the best advice is to do it in adventure on a boss stage because there is a, there is a reputation that every 200 boss kill, you're getting a chest for rare Callus and you can get uh, something like between one ca uh, rare Callus to, uh, I believe, uh, three or four out of that chest. So it, it adds up and uh, do it on a stage where you can get more than one Callus. Like, uh, if you can get, uh, you're farming for an epic Calus, it's going to take a while. Make sure there is also maybe uh, one or more Calus on top of that epic one that drops from that stage. So uh, you're doing multiple things at the same time. And uh, always, uh, it's always good. There is no loss, guys. I'm, uh, I'm a free-to-play player. And leveling uh, heroes, uh, promoting, getting uh, like your core group to six star, and even uh, future heroes that you want to introduce in your core group, be it for uh, PVE or for uh, for PVP, whatever, uh, where you want to use that hero, there is no loss in uh, working on six starring heroes be because like you could do it early on versus let's say instead of wasting because i think it's a it's a waste to do uh, hunts in earlier levels like i did before that's a mistake i did so really working on six starring heroes is, is never a loss because you can always be working on getting your uh, epic 
uh, Calis, your rare Calis, and uh, get experience at the same time. Uh, get some some uh, gold. Get some stigma. Get some uh, some items that you can sell or uh, use to enhance uh, items you want to wear. So really, there is uh, never a loss. So try to get better friends, guys. Uh, heroes that uh, are running uh, live still. Uh, you could make a list of uh, your friends that are doing well if if they are taking too much damage you can always yield you there's not going to be any loss so just pay attention maybe make a list of the the good, good ones and uh well, it, it's more about making a list of uh, heroes that are not so good friends that are not so good so you can go through and purge friends that are not good and uh, replace them with better friends to uh to get as much much experience as possible and you can do it like a combo like i did as well use uh, in this case i used a friend uh, a soul weaver destina in the in the front line so she was tanking she was healing and i had uh, my uh, my carry dps in the back so i was able to do a higher uh, zone in adventure to get uh, callus uh, epic callus that uh, i don't have access to uh, in the er uh, earlier uh, stages earlier zones and uh, also uh, opens up rare calis that can be found earlier. So yeah, that's uh, that's the best way to do it, guys. I'm not gonna talk about uh, cracks in this one. Uh, I mean, I don't run cracks because like having a hero that can solo the highest crack. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would need to run some tests, but I mean, the highest one, I doubt you can solo it easily. But yeah, that's uh, that's another video I could do uh, later on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. All right, peace out for now.